Hey everybody, one Weasem here. It is Monday, January 27th, 2014, sometime around 11 p.m. Uh, finally, a uh, special edition Gilgren arrived. I realize I've got Sprocket back there. Gonna take care of her this. Take care of her right after this one. But uh, essentially, I talked about this one for quite some time. Uh, this is the subject of the video. This is again special edition Gilgrunt. Kind of makes that very clear. Just looking at the character. The way this one worked, this was available only through Toys R Us. Uh, still the case, as best I know, probably going to stay that way, uh, given the what people have reported these are, in fact, pretty limited. Essentially, they ran a promotion that starting on launch day through, I believe, the 31st of December. Don't hold me to that date. I've probably blogged it somewhere and mentioned it before, uh, you know, several months ago, but... Essentially, if you spend $100 on Skylanders at Toys R Us, which is very easy to do, we're talking a $75 starter pack, you know, for the majority of that time, and then, what, two swappers is going to push you over that. Uh, they have had some really good sales. I mean, the 40% off sale has been almost perpetual at their store. Uh, of course, outside of a few times that there's things I need, it doesn't seem to line up that way. But uh, nonetheless, bottom line, very easy to spend the $100 at Toys R Us. Qualify for this. Originally at my store, it was a freaky deal. They had a little post-it note, uh, or just one corner of the Skylanders. Uh, essentially, it advertised that. Then when you checked out, you had to tell the person, uh, or they would tell you you qualified. They literally had a notebook with a pen where they were writing down your name and your phone number. Uh, as it turns out, luckily, you know, I have a Rewards R Us card. I've covered those before, but uh, essentially, they got processed. I guess they kind of tweaked it. They pushed the dates back several times. Originally, it was a deal. It was going to be sent to the store, and then they would call you, and you would come in and get your figure. Uh, similar, what, it, what they wound up doing is kind of like that, just on a national level, and they used an email instead. Uh, some people have had issues, you know, weren't getting their emails on time. Mine came through just fine. Uh, issue is, they're in Ohio. I'm in Texas. It went through the mail. It takes a long time to get here. And uh, then, of course, it didn't come at the end of the week. I think it showed up Saturday, and I had a lot going on this weekend. Didn't go, so we got it today. Uh, it ships in a bubble mailer. And the issue with that, a lot of people... Uh, I actually have a Hyper Beam Prism Break that was gashed over there on the portal uh, when I was playing the Xbox One version. But a lot of people get them, you know, and the plastic will be dented in or creased, almost like you just come in and karate chop it. Uh, only real issue on mine is just the tab has kind of bent a little bit. Not a huge deal, but again, if this is something you were planning on not opening and displaying, obviously you'd like it to be mint condition. Uh, but again, this was free, no freight, nothing, uh, which that was what was surprising. It would be more economical for Toys R Us to actually ship those to the stores and go about it as originally planned. As is, they're still free, and then they just ate freight individually to everyone. I think it would have taken a little time to figure out the allotment per store, maybe, but it's still in the end, I think the man hours would uh, be significantly... Uh, more feasible, you know, in an economic standpoint than actually shipping them to everyone. But uh, that said, you know, it does come in a bubble mailer. You can actually order it. They claim since the day I got the email, which I believe was the 17th of January, um, they claim that you can actually get them in stores. I have never seen this guy in stores. I've talked to people. They've never seen him in the store. Uh, I was in Toys R Us Sunday, and that huge display, you know, covers the whole front of the store. They actually had moved all the Skylanders. Some went over to the video game section. Some slid into the other side of the store near Babies R Us. Uh, seemed like a lot of the stock wasn't kind of out like it was before, so I'm thinking they're still tweaking things around. But uh, I will check back repeatedly. The reason you can order it online right now, they're still available. If you want one, I would suggest you get it fast. And at that point in time, their $8 shipping becomes a moot point because you would pay well more than that to the scalpers. But uh, the issue is you have to buy, you know, the, probably the best thing to do is to buy this guy with a triple pack or an adventure pack. Uh, maybe Sheepwreck Island. Uh, the AP, or maybe you can come and get the Archean Crossbow Battle Pack, and then it would come in a box. You know, there's no bubble mailers big enough for a triple pack. 
But uh, the issue I have is recently I got pretty much all of Wave 3, the singles that hit, I think, what, the 22nd at Toys R Us. Ordered them in, they shipped in a box, and I mean the box literally had like a V crater in it. That's what damaged Hyper Beam Prism Break. I've showcased that before. Uh, that's why it's nice on these special edition ones, limited, glowing, and whatever they may be. Uh, store exclusives to actually pick it out yourself because then not only can you check the figure make sure there's no flaws or blemishes you know you can actually make sure that the packaging isn't messed up and again i mean that's really the only issue on mine probably pretty lucky since i have had several people tell me that their plastic was torn up i think i've had two people tell me that like the figure was loose like the plastic was just ripped off but uh all that aside you can still get this guy if you didn't qualify uh, order them in online, check in with your local stores, try to get a timeline, see if they'll hold them for you, things like that. But uh, again, special edition, this is not a sticker, this is printed. It's basically just like E3 Hot Dog, you can kind of see them way back there behind Mario and Chaos. But uh, it is, the other thing that's important to know, and a lot of people thought this was Anchors Away Gilgrim, it is not, it is based on the Series 2 pose. I don't have an issue with that personally for the simple fact I think that to date this is still the best pose for Gilgrim. It works very well. You probably see a bit more of the color than you would with Anchors Away Gilgrim. But again, it is Skylanders Giants. You can tell by the packaging there. We got the orange tone. Water Element Gilgrim Fear the Fish is a slogan. As you can see, he's compatible in SSA, Giants, and of course now in Swap Force. Uh, flipping him around to the backside. Inset box art. Pretty much standard. You get the drill. Uh, probably don't need to cover this for you. We've done it so many times. But uh, basically, you put him on the portal. He should show up just like Series 2 Gilgrunt right there at the uh, pool table. But uh, I believe he might kind of be more of like a true chase variant. Maybe like a level 5, 2,000 coins, something like that. We'll actually put him on the portal and check that. Uh, I'm not actually going to open him. If I can find him at a local store i will uh there's really nothing that i need to order in uh to offset the freight uh maybe some point in time i'll do a game but again he is currently available if you do want him or you've got your free one and it was just butchered we'll say you had one of the ones that was open uh, it's cool you've got the loose figure now but if you wanted to keep him sealed up for display purposes might go ahead cash in Again, if there's any characters that you need, uh, that free freight pays off because it's essentially, you know, almost the price of another single pack character. So uh, they kind of, the less you buy, the more you pay to ship. Kind of funny how that works out sometimes, but you know, it is what it is. I uh, see that pretty much everywhere, but I have to say this looks really good. Uh, essentially right here. You know, just kind of like a chronology of Gilgrim, if you will. Green base, that's going to be your Skylander Spirals Adventure. He was, of course, found in the starter packs. Before we go on to Series 2, there is a freaky deal. Uh, I've actually thought of buying this when the prices have come down pretty cheap for a loose figure, but uh, it was when Giants had come out. I still don't know what Microsoft was thinking, what their logic was, but... They came out with a like translucent green Gilgrunt in the Xbox 360 starter packs. Uh, I can't remember if it was a bundle with the Xbox or just a starter pack, but you know that's how you would obtain the translucent green. It was just like a year too late. It was kind of an odd, odd timing thing. Uh, again, right here, this is Series 2 Gilgrunt as seen in Giants, hence the orange base. Again, in my opinion... Uh, this is his best pose at least you know again that's going to be subjective for everyone but i really like the fact we've got you know the waters going back here kind of down water weaver if you will uh plus harpoon's been upgraded a bit now series three or your swap force pose in the case of gilgrim very nice on the base because it's blue it blends in perfectly with the water element uh, that kind of showcases the new wow pal anchors away gilgrim not a bad pose it's kind of cool it's just for me personally, I have to say I like the Series 2 pose the best, and that of course ties in very nicely with this one. I'll try to give you some weird angles so you can kind of see uh, the entire character, just like purple metallic wrecking ball over here. I mean, it's literally 360 degrees top side bottom. Uh, only thing that's really not treated specially is the eyes, just like on wrecking ball. In the case of Gilgrunt, they're the standard yellow and black. Actually does have kind of a reddish-orange outline around the black. 
Coming around, you can see even that uh, harpoon, the gun, everything uh, got that, I don't know what to exactly call that. It's like a fish scale emerald if I had to label it. A lot of people just refer to it as like metallic green. It's not technically a metallic green. Uh, again, I kind of have a background in automotive paint and stuff. You can kind of see some gold hues in it too, but... Uh, again, fishy emerald, that's probably what I'll call it. Just because no one else does, it makes things complicated. And why not do that when you get the chance, right? But, uh, bottom line, it looks really, really good. Again, uh, way back in the day, October now, whenever the game came out, I tried to cover this for you, tell you to go to Toys R Us. At launch, they had to buy one, get one 40%, which was really cool and unexpected. Uh, of course, they had the legendaries at the time. Starter packs really aren't on sale anywhere, so why not go to the place where you can get a you know a little discount on the figures when you buy two or more? And uh, then, of course, qualify for a special figure. So this is all of that come to fruition again. Uh, a lot of people not happy with the way they handle it. Personally, I don't have a problem. Uh, only complaint, you know, and this is going to be universal, is obviously you'd like the packaging to be as close to perfect as possible. But uh, that's it. Very nice piece. And uh, that's really all she wrote there. Uh, what I will do, if you take that blog link at the top of the video description box, you can actually shuffle over there. I will have a link to the Toys R Us listing for Special Edition Gilligan if you want to go in and purchase it. Again, I may do that. I may hold out and see if it comes to the stores. The safest thing to do if I did not qualify for this or they botched it and lost it, etc., I would not hesitate at all to pay the freight on it, even if I didn't qualify for the free shipping. Uh, just because there's no guarantee it'll come to the store and it could be, you know, very, very limited stock if it does in fact happen. So if you do want this guy, definitely consider just picking him up online from Toys R Us. Uh, pay the $10.99 retail, pay the excessively high freight for what this is, and uh, just be glad that down the road you won't have to go and shell out, you know, three, four times that to pick this guy up. But like I said, this is my favorite pose of Gilgrun out of the three readily available, and I have to say, I think this actually fits him very well. Again, I'll call it Fishy Emerald, that's just what pops to my mind, but... Uh, Again, kind of colorations. It's sort of like a green, yellow, gold, depending on how the light hits it. And uh, just looks really cool. I think this is one of those things. There's some blue in there, too. But uh, when you see it in person, I think you will fully appreciate it. I'm not quite sure the video does it, you know, 100% justice. I'd say it's pretty dadgum accurate. But that said, this is him. I've covered everything for you. You can get him if you missed out, so keep that in mind. Check for the link on the blog. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, questions, comments, you can ask here for a quick response. I suggest you use the blog link again at the top of the video description box. You can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Again, thanks for watching, and as Gilgrunt would say, fear the fish.